Hello, amazing art students. Today we are going to start a new project. This is called a landscape line design. And what we have in front of us right here are our pencil and eraser and a piece of paper. This is from a pad and this is 11 by 14 inches. It is going to be a perfect size for our landscape drawing. Let's begin. I'm going to take my paper and position it in front of me in the landscape position. So it is actually going across ways like this. If it were going up and down, that'd be called portrait. So I'm going to ask you while you are drawing today to use your pencil and eraser. But so you can see my drawing better, I am going to use a Sharpie marker. So here we go. When we make a landscape picture, we think about the three sections of that picture. The area most close to us is lowest on the paper, and that is called the foreground. Behind that, a further distance away from us is the middle ground. And the furthest back, highest on the page, way, way away from us is the background. We start with the foreground and layer as we go up our paper. So the first thing I want you to do is start over here on the side of your paper, or you can start over here. It's your choice. But you might want to watch to see what I do first. I am going up about the length of my finger and using that as a measuring tool and drawing a gentle hill that comes down, starting high and ending low. Then I am going to draw another hill. This starts more than halfway across the paper and goes to the other side of the paper. You can see I'm building layers now. I'm going to draw another layer now. If at any time this is too fast, remember, just pause. This one is going to be a little bit more mountainy, but these aren't full mountains. This is the area of the geography that starts at the bottom of mountains. Then I'm going to use that same back and forth across idea and I go across, make another part of my mountain. Here I'm going to include a small hill and over here I'm going to make more of a mountain. There we go. Let's take a look. We have our foreground, our middle ground, and our background. But let's really add some great details to make it look more realistic. I'm going to add over here a couple little bushes. Because I'm close to these, I can see them. If these were way far away on this hill, I would not be able to see them. Next, I'm going to add my sun setting over the mountains. I love when I see the beautiful sunset reflecting on top of clouds. So I'm going to make some clouds appear in the sky. You don't have to make clouds like me. You can make your own kind of clouds. Maybe you don't want any. What would you like to have in the sky? To show that there is actually a road going through here, I am going to make a road and you're gonna see how it goes across all these hills and gets smaller and smaller as it gets further and further away from us. So first I'm gonna start with my road coming off of this hill right here. I'm gonna leave this one alone. 
And this is going to go over to this hill over here. My road is nice and big. And I'm going to make my lines that go through my road. It's a pretty big road. But when the road got over here and went over this hill, we want to show how far away this hill is from this one. So then over here, I make the road again, but I don't make it as thick as I did right here. It's going to be thinner and these lines get smaller than they were right here. My road continues over this hill and goes down the other side, but where does it start to come back up? It's going to come back up over here. And watch what I do. It's going to be thicker where it's closer to me, but as it gets further away, I'm going to taper my road. That means make it thinner. So it started out thick here and got thinner right there. Remember your lines. They might get really short now. And I'm gonna make one final section of my road disappearing over the top of this hill. It goes down this mountain and curves and comes around another way until it's really small now. So where I start this one's got to be even smaller from where I left off right there. little dots to show the lines and that's it. So that is the first step to creating our line design landscape. I hope you had fun today and if you drew this with your pencil first, now is a great time to go ahead and trace it with your Sharpie.